Sagutan natin tong problem. Solve the following. Okay, so meron tayong right triangle ABC with sides small letter A, B, at C. So let's start with 1. If A is 3, B is 4, find C. So kung meron tayong right triangle, pwede natin i-apply yung Pythagorean theorem. So ang Pythagorean theorem is sum of the squares of the legs is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. So dito sa right triangle natin, yung mga legs ay itong perpendicular sides A at B at yung hypotenuse is C, yung side na opposite sa 90 degree angle. So using Pythagorean theorem, we have the equation sum of the squares of the legs. So we have A squared plus B squared is equal to the square of the hypotenuse C. So we have C squared. So to solve for 1, we need to solve for C. It's equal to C square equal to A square plus B square. Or if we square root both sides, we have C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. So substituting the value, we have square root of A is 3 squared plus B is 4 squared. So we have the square root of 3 square is 9 plus 4 square is 16. Square root of 4 plus 16 is 25 and square root of 25 is 5. So therefore, C is 5. Next for 2, we have B is equal to 24, C is 25 and A is unknown. So again, using Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So ang pinapahanap naman is A. So manipulate lang natin tong equation. So transpose ko si B squared dito sa kanan. So magiging A squared is equal to C squared. From positive sa kaliwa, magiging negative B squared sa kanan. Then get the square root of both sides. So therefore, we have A is equal to the square root of C squared minus B squared. So, substitute natin yung value. C is 25. So, we have 25 squared minus B is 24, 24 squared. So, we have square root of 25 squared is equal to 625 minus 24 squared is equal to 576. And 625 minus 500. 76, it's equal to 49. And the square root of 49 is equal to 7. So therefore, the answer is 7. Lastly, for number 3, we have A is 15, C is 17, and B is unknown. So again, using Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared is equal to Z squared. This time, sa sub naman natin si B. So tatanspose ko si A squared sa kanan. So we have B squared is equal to C squared minus a squared then get the square root of both sides we have b is equal to the square root of c squared minus a squared so substitute the value c is 17 and then we square minus a it's 15 then we square so simplifying we have so 17 square is equal to 289 minus 15 square is equal to 225 so, we have square root of 289 minus 225, it's equal to 64. And what is the square root of 64? It's equal to 8. So, therefore, the answer is B is equal to 8. Okay, now it's your turn. So, try nyo namang sagutan itong problems and just comment your answers.